Start. Hey, it's Lemon. Welcome to the Backlogs. You know, we tend to get lost in the swords and sorcery side of things on this channel pretty often. Which makes sense, because that's my favorite genre to mess around in. But today, we're gonna switch it up a bit. After all, wouldn't it be fun to play Skyrim? But with guns? God, why they ever leaned into that particular quote, I'll never know. So yeah, we're gonna play some Far Cry 3. But because this is the backlogs, and because I'm deathly allergic to playing games normally, we'll have to come up with some way to make it interesting. Eh, I'm sure we'll think of something. Ugh. Oh god, is it just me? Or is the frame rate and graphics not exactly like you remember? Maybe it's just my eyes. I have been looking at a lot of screens lately. You have? Yeah, it's kind of my job. Oh god, not you again! Well, then why not try on a pair of GMG blue light blocking glasses? Here, no, stop. just I, I, put I, I don't. Get your, get your hands off. There we go. Huh. You know, these aren't that bad. Ah, ah! Do you find yourself spending a lot of time in front of screens? Maybe you work from home, or maybe you just scroll through Reddit before bed. Either way, that time in front of screens may be putting unnecessary strain on your eyes, and could also be disrupting your ability to get a full night's sleep. But with GMG's blue light blocking glasses, the blue light that emits from the multiple screens we surround ourselves with on a daily basis gets partially absorbed, allowing your body to naturally maintain your circadian rhythm that much better. Which means better sleep for you, all while looking stylish. Personally, I get sent to the void whenever I'm not being used, and the void doesn't have any blue light. Or, or any light for that matter. Uh, but, but Lemon himself does use computers and phones on a daily basis, and told me to tell you that he hates staring at screens all day, because it hurts his eyes and tends to ruin his sleep schedule. And while he's only had these glasses for a few days now, he has noticed that it hurts a bit less when he's staring at a blank screen trying to remember how to write video scripts. Hang in there, buddy. The glasses themselves feel like they're made with high quality materials, and come in multiple options, so you know you can find a pair that matches your style. So if you're interested in getting yourself some GMG glasses at a great price, make sure you follow the link in the description or pinned comment down below, and get yourself a pair of glasses for 40% off. It's the best offer of the year, and it's the only chance you'll have to get a pair almost half the price. Black Friday sale ends November 28th, so don't miss it. A big thanks to GMG for sponsoring this video. In there right, Lemon? I grape death. Don't we all, Lemon? Don't we all? Oh, it was a camera. It was supposed to look bad. Got it. Can, uh, can I have that back? I like this phone. This is a nice fucking phone. Uh, hey, hello? Can we have that back, please? I'm sorry, what did you say? What did you say? Did you want me to slice you open like I did your friend? Shut the fuck up! You know what? It, okay. It's fine. You, you can have it. Ta-ta. Bye-bye. Well, he seems nice. So, yeah, welcome to Far Cry 3. If you haven't played it before, you're in for a wild ride. First things first, Grant takes out our captor so we can get out. Man didn't even put up a fight, just rolled over at the first opportunity. After that, we creep through the pirate camp with relative ease, throwing rocks and distracting NPCs like the American heroes we are. Honestly, I'm kind of surprised the pirates are able to keep any of their hostages in check. We made it out of there in record time. All right, let's figure out where we're going here. We're gonna need a game plan. Grant, any ideas? What the? Why the hell did we open up the map right here? We didn't even make it 10 feet out of the camp. Okay, uh, shit, uh, what, what, what do we do? CPR? Apply pressure? Tourniquet? Oh, fucking death! I said get the fuck out of here, you chicken fuck! Yep, right, good plan, running! Oh god, helicopters? Jumps across ravines? Oh god, is that a bear? What the, who the hell are you? Would you quit? Look, I don't want your knife! Oh great, now look what you made me do. Oh god, now what? Why can't I ever get a break? Ah, shit! I should have played Dark Souls! Huh. Alright. This is a little bit less extreme. I can get behind this. I have Jason Brody with me. The man who escaped vast camp alive! Uh, hello there. Yeah. Cash for weapons. Oh, uh, no thanks. I, I don't use guns. What do they say in America? This is the first time. For everything. I'm not sure that's an American saying, but fine. Guess I'll go get a gun then. So while the game forces me to buy a pistol, there's actually something much more important to note here. 
If we swing on down to the Specials tab, we can find our true weapons of choice. Expensive as hell, but there's a way around that too. Turns out, there's radio towers all around the map, because this is a Ubisoft game. I get to the base of the tower, but there seems to be a snake of some kind. Can't exactly kill it right now, since I don't have any fire, but maybe if we run really fast... Gah! Fuck you, snake! So yeah, radio towers. They reveal chunks of the map, which is useful, but the big reward we're after is what happens each time you climb one. Every time a radio tower is unlocked, new guns become available, for free, at the weapon store. Which means, so long as we can find enough towers to climb, we can unlock the weapons for this challenge run without paying the exorbitant prices for them. Not a bad deal. Oh hey, a car! This will speed things up. I'm American, so driving is basically in my nature. And if you're doing it right, nature will be in your driving as well. Look out, world! Lemons behind the wheel! Alright, so now that we're nearby, let's talk about the first quest we need to do. Ooh, uh, must have been the wind. Now, the way I see it, this challenge run has two rules. We have to beat the game, and we have to try to use fire as our weapon of choice at all times. There's just one problem. This quest requires me to collect a bunch of flora, but it also requires me to kill some fauna as well. Fauna that I don't exactly have a weapon for. And guess what happens when you start a quest? Yup, you're locked in. Once you're in the quest area, you can't leave without failing it. And failing it starts you, you guessed it, back at the beginning of the quest. So yeah, soft lock the challenge run. Start over. Okay, so this time I made sure to roam around looting all the treasure points I could find in the nearby area, which means I have over $400. And what costs $400? You guessed it, the repair tool. But what is the repair tool, I hear you ask? Well, it's supposed to be a welding torch, and you're supposed to use it for fixing vehicles. But, what if I told you that it could be used as a weapon? Little pig, little pig, let me- Hey, wait, stop! God damn it, that hurt! Okay, slight hiccup in the plan. We need to- Jesus, what is this? Fucking tremors? Okay, well, good news and bad news. The good news is that I can heal up infinite times so long as no enemies can hit me. It's one bar at a time, but that's better than nothing. The bad news is that this thing does basically next to no damage means I'm constantly running back and forth between doing damage and healing myself. Yay, gameplay. Eventually though, we get the job done. Success, I guess. Gather some leaves, gather some different colored leaves, then immediately get too greedy and panic and run away like a coward. I'm good at video games, I swear. There we go, finally. Moving on, back to Dennis, who teaches me how to craft and level up. I'm forced to learn how to do a takedown, which I can't actually use, but I have one extra level up, so I learn how to do a running slide. Should come in handy in the future. Maybe. Nah, eh, probably not. After that, we drive our way up to the first enemy camp. These things are all over the island, and removing them gives you a lot of experience and side missions to do, as well as a fast travel. Now, you've got multiple options. You can sneak around and kill enemies silently, start distractions with animals, or you can run in guns blazing and just blow everyone to hell. My usual go-to is to use stealth, but uh, people tend to scream quite a bit when you set them on fire, so that's not really an option anymore. However, I do have the option of starting fires. You can't really control where it goes, but if it spreads over to the areas where the enemies are, they might catch fire, or at the very least get distracted by the flames. I take my time, lure away enemies one at a time, and... What? Oh come on, I leave you alone for five minutes and you go and die on me? The biggest problem I'm having is how long it takes to set someone on fire. By the time they finally kick the bucket, everyone in the campground is shooting at you. You also have to apply constant flames to whoever you're attacking, otherwise they get an opportunity to attack back. Which is obviously no bueno. Eventually though, against all odds, I somehow kill all the enemies in the camp. If we could not have to do that ever again, that'd be great. What do you mean that's a key part of the gameplay loop? But hey, at least we learned how to make a mixture that makes me fireproof. So that's good, I guess. Now, I'm supposed to go find one of my friends. But why do that when we can prepare ourselves for the challenges to come? So many things to craft. So few materials in hand. Definitely important though, gonna have to get on that. In the interest of improving my crafting abilities, let's go ahead and take a skill that makes me gather double the plants. Speed up the grind a bit. I find some rabid dogs, collect their pelts, then make myself a fuel sling. Oh, there's multiple tiers? Damn, okay, I thought we were done already. We're gonna need some better weapons then. I've seen what kind of pain hunting boars can bring. So with that in mind, it's time for another driving adventure! Yeah! Oh, oh fuck! Alright, we should be getting close. I can feel it in my bones. And now I can see my bones. Alright Google, where the hell do I go from here? Turn left. You have arrived. 
Stupid Google never works right. What do you think I'm driving, an amphibious tank? Alright, finally. We made it. Are these things getting taller? To be fair, I'd like to give a shout out to whichever developer tried to make these things fun to climb. You did your best. Well, that's two down. Not a whole lot I can use as far as unlocks go. Uh, anymore. But hey, that's just the journey we signed up for. Yeah, at least I'm having a good time driving around. Huh, must be out of gas. Come on, Lemon, just 16 more to go. Don't give up on me now. Whew, okay, there we go. Three down. You know, on second thought, maybe it's easier just to buy the guns instead. How bad can it be, right? Huh, okay, well, that's not exactly in my budget range. But hey, at least we can attack from long range now. Every little bit helps. But that did tell me one thing. We're not going to be able to afford a flamethrower unless we climb the towers to make it free. Or do a lot of hunting to make a bigger wallet. And then find enough money to buy it. Yeah, you said it. So, climbing towers it is. Because hunting with a repair tool and flare gun sounds like the absolute worst. Just gotta find a few more... Wait, hold up. Got a bullet in my arm. <laughs> ah, much better. Now we can... Uh, oh, fuck. Oh, shit. Oh, God, why? So anyway, like I was saying, just a few more radio towers to find. Should be that hard. Oop. Getting a little bumpy out there. Man, they really ought to pay the roads better out here. I might as well be driving on wet grass. Oh god, not again! All right, everyone. Remember where we parked. <sighs> Why was it radio towers? Why couldn't it be bus stops? But hey, good news. This was radio tower number five. And while that doesn't mean much to you, that means a whole lot to me. Because that means the flamethrower is now free at every store. Which means we can now begin this run in earnest. Huh. We can buy even more flames? Don't mind if I do. Ooh, a custom paint job. Well, all right then, might as well. Hey, would you look at that. Some pirates just offered to help me test it out. Oh, oh, did you see that? Good Lord, all it takes is a single press of the trigger and they're dead. I'm not sure we're even gonna need that extra ammo sling if that's the case. And if our flames don't kill them, the environmental damage sure will. Let's see what taking out a base feels like with this thing. So the stealth option is probably out but it does work extraordinarily well when it comes to killing baddies. That said, the absolute inferno I create when attacking a base is a bit alarming, considering, you know, lemons are just as combustible as pirates. We're gonna need a few more levels before we can avoid that problem properly. Until then, I guess we'll just have to cook and book. Hello there, this base is mine now. Or it would be if I didn't burn the entire thing to the ground every single time. Ah, <sighs> another day's work complete. Oh crap, my friends. I knew I was forgetting something. Nah, I'm sure they're all fine. Damn, nice place. Doesn't exactly fit in, but I'm sure that siding holds up well against monsoons. All right, so, good news, bad news. The good news is one of our friends made her way into this house and is being cared for by a doctor. Well, doctor in name, anyway. The bad news is that she's feeling very much under the weather and will have to find some cave mushrooms for an antidote. You know, typical island stuff. All right, looks like I found the cave, but it's under water. Hoo, hoo! No, 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 no. Piss off! Holy crap, that actually worked? Huh, okay, is this a puzzle room? The game always wants me to grab onto ropes and vines, so maybe if I run? Oh, I was supposed to die. Mushrooms, mushrooms, where are the mushrooms? Oh, there they are. <laughs> oh yeah, I'm allergic to mushrooms. This might be a problem. Oh no, this might be bad. Please stop. I need my insulin. Dad? I don't feel so good. Ugh. That was a bad time. Oh hey, mushrooms. Better take a bunch, that way I never have to come back. Perfect. I give our bounty to the doctor to make some antidotes, then get told that there's an old beach ship full of pirates that I need to take care of. And it's about here that we ran into our first brick wall. The mission is to break into the area, kill three pirate leaders, and gather their intel. Silently. You, uh, you see the problem by now, I'm sure. Get overzealous, and you'll get noticed by the compound. Get noticed by the compound, and the pirate leaders destroy their intel. Yay! There's not too many pirates lurking around, so it's not impossible. But there's just enough that killing anyone will likely cause the entire camp to come running. Thankfully, I have a magic camera, and that tells me what kind of enemies are on the field. So, if they have a golden star over their head, that means they have my intel. One less problem to figure out. Next, I tried murdering the leaders with longer range from cover. But no dice there either. Either the pirate behind me can see through metal boxes, or the screaming alone is enough to alert the camp and destroy the intel. Both seem just as likely. So, getting desperate, I had to start experimenting. 
Turns out, the human scream can only be heard approximately 50 meters away. Which means, if we calculate the trajectory of the sound, account for wind pressure and the temperature of the air itself, then multiply all that to get... I used rocks. I, I threw rocks. I lured the leaders out of the camp, then burned them. For science! It took forever, took multiple tries, and was really annoying. I actually fucked up the last one too. Totally whiffed my Molotov. But funnily enough, I think these were the last two pirates, so there was no one left to warn by the time I got through with them. What a shame. I listen to the radio to get some info about where my other friends are, then get assaulted by a wave of pirates who just so happen to know I'm here. Must have been all the smoke. It goes well. For me, anyway. Next mission. Go save a lumber camp. Or something. Nah, I wasn't really paying attention. Stop, citizen. I require transportation. I shall return your vehicle to you unharmed when I am through. Okay, we're here. Time to get to work. Some fire for you, a little for you. Oh, and don't worry, I didn't forget about you. You know, in retrospect, maybe sending the flamethrower-wielding madman to save the lumberyard was a bad idea. Just saying. All right, time for our next quest. Is that a cat? Oh God, not the face, not the face! All right, our next objective is way down in the south. That's a long drive. But why drive when you can fly? This should be fine. Easy. Easy. You know, with so many less trees in the way, concentrating on flying is actually a lot easier. Yeah! All right, time to stealth my way into a prison. This shouldn't be too bad. Ah, snake, get it off! Ah, well, so much for stealth. Guess it's back to Old Faithful. Works just as well, I suppose. Wait a minute, is that this snake that- Ah, fuck, why? Well, you can definitely tell I've been here. Might as well say Lemon was here in smoke signals. Excuse me? Pardon me? Hey, Bob, how's the dog? Fun fact about the flamethrower? Doesn't matter how much armor the enemy is wearing, it only takes one burst to catch fire. Slightly less fun fact about the flamethrower? You'll constantly set yourself on fire while using it. All right, let's see. If I was a madman recording ransom videos, where would I hide? Oh, behind me. That makes sense. You are angry, Jason. You are angry. I... Okay. I am? You see, the thing about our loved ones, right? Our fucking loved ones! They come and they blindside you every fucking time! So they say to me, they say, boss, boss, who the fuck is it going to be? Them or me? Me or them? Oh, I see. You're projecting. And now you're just copying. Come on, boss. Do better. All right, Lemon. Just gotta wiggle. We can do it. Okay, now we can... <gasps> Jeez, I thought I liked fire. I gotta shoot the pipes. With what? More fire? Any other bright ideas, Jason? All right, screw it. I've been running through excessive fire the entire run. What's one more? Whew, finally. You ready to go? All right, on three. One, oh two, God. four. I mean three. Ah, fuck God, why? All right, that wasn't so bad. Now we just need to escape. The game offers me a grenade launcher but it also offers a flare gun. Not exactly a grenade launcher, but... What? Really? Well, all right then. Yeah! 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 All right, two friends found. Only a few more to go. I think. I never bothered to learn their names. I do a little hunting between missions. Sorry, Kevin. Liberate a few outposts from pirate control, then accidentally set the entire jungle on fire. So, you know. Typical Tuesday. Not gonna lie, kind of forgot what I was doing for a few hours there, and just went around the map clearing bases and crafting new gear. Huh. Maybe it is Skyrim with guns. I meet the jungle lady who, spoilers, just so happens to be Voss's sister. Not exactly someone we want to be goofing around with. Is this stuff dangerous? You are speaking out of fear. Do you desire the power to save your friends? Yes. Then drink. Yeesh. Doesn't take much peer pressure to get you going, does it, Jason? I go on a bit of a vision quest, because that's what happens when you drink strange liquids, and find out that I'll be looking for a knife for the next few hours. Cool. I also leveled up quite a few times, since I've finally gotten far enough in the main quest that the skills I actually want are unlocked. I got a lot of movement-related skills, health regeneration, and healing skills, and most importantly, the ability to take less damage from fire and explosions. Yeah! Wait, what was I doing again? Oh, god dang it, my friends! Alright, focus, Lemon. It's time to- OH SHIT! What? Don't judge me, this is part of the quest line, I swear. All in. Jason, you didn't even look at your cards, man. That's not how poker works. I suffer through Ubisoft's favorite mission type for a few minutes, 
then follow the guy into a random house. You have 10 seconds to tell me who you are before I remotely detonate the C4 under the table and this whole place explodes like a pop bottle. Oh, I like you. Turns out this guy is a former CIA agent. Maybe. Who knows? All I know is that he likes flamethrowers, which means we're friends now. And now we have to burn an entire weed field to the ground. Sounds like a good time. Don't do anything stupid, Jason. Okay, I'll be careful. Let's see, I think we're here. Yep, we're here. I know it's hard to tell the difference from the rest of my playthrough so far, but I swear I'm doing missions right now. The game has started to introduce some new enemy types though, one of which throws Molotovs and runs screaming towards you in an effort to try and stab you if you set them on fire. I think the game is learning. CIA man tells me there's a manifest somewhere that can tell me where the rest of my friends are, so that's where we're heading next. Of course, in order to get the manifest, I have to do an escort mission. And boy howdy do the enemies love shooting him directly in the penis. But after a few restarts and a lot of running directly into the line of fire, I get Rongo to where he needs to go and defend him long enough that he can give me the information I need. After that, it's just a short drive through the jungle to our next destination and we can... and we can find our next friend. Boy, they uh... They really like slapping him around, huh? Unfortunately, this is one of those parts of the game where I'm forced to use a specific weapon. So technically, I hate to say it, but no, you cannot beat Far Cry 3 with only fire. Ah well, might as well keep going. Besides, I haven't used a sniper rifle in years. It used to be my weapon of choice when I played shooters. I wonder if I've still got it. Squeeze the trigger. Don't fire the gun, just squeeze. Ah, I missed this. But with our buddies saved, that means we can escape on a boat. Which unfortunately is another locked in, you must use a specific weapon segment. Ah well, guess I'll just have to have fun for a few minutes. Ooh, gosh darn, I'm so mad. Anyway, that's one more friend down. Two more to go. I think. Turns out the next friend has been sold to this fella here, Buck. And Buck wants the same thing that Syndra wants, an ancestral dagger. You all ready for a wild goose chase? <laughs> Sneak aboard a ship, become a super hacker, grab a magic compass, realize we're not the greatest hacker in the world and get blown up, escape the sinking ship, use the magic compass to find the next clue, blow up the entrance to a hidden temple, gah, snake, gah, alligator, do some pressure plate puzzles that my dog could probably figure out given enough time and treats, get another ring for the compass, go to another cave, solve more Indiana Jones puzzles, gah, snake, grab another compass ring, then follow it to yet another cave. Are you picking up what I'm putting down? Are, are we all smelling what I've stepped in? Because if you're smelling repetitive and kind of boring game design, then we're on the same page. I give Buck the knife, then find my friend. Then, go figure, Buck decides he doesn't want the knife after all. Look man, just take the knife! Oops. One more friend down. One more to go. Get lost kids, daddy needs to drive to the next objective. Clean this place of pirates. Sit the hell is that noise? All right, seriously, what is going on? Hello? Okay, that's it. Let me just get out casually here and fuck you, ghost car! There, that should... Oh, were you there the whole time? Anyway, the next mission has me going up against some privateers. It's a long story, but all you need to know is that they burn just as good as the pirates do. And guess who figured out how to make fire arrows? Man, these things were great for large clumps of enemies. It's a shame I only get about 10 per mission. Ah well, guess we can always cook and book. But with the last of the privateers taken care of, I can now have a big fancy war truck. Do you have any idea how many sick jumps I can do with it? Oh, hello. The definition of insanity. Ugh, where am I? Boss? What's going on? I'm sorry, I don't like the way you are looking at me. Looks like the anger therapy is going well. Did I ever tell you the definition of insanity? Yeah, you may have mentioned it once or twice. All right, well, good talk. I hope you get the help you need. Thankfully, everyone in this game sucks at tying knots, so we can escape and move on to finding our last friend. I go back to the jungle fraternity, where I get peer pressured, again, into drinking poison. Honestly, Jason, stand up for yourself, man. Next thing you know, I'm facing some sort of tiki demon with explosive arrows. Man, this is some Attack on Titan shit right here. I'd like to be done now. Hello? Anyone? I'd like to get off the ride now, please. I just want to get home. So, college hazing aside, let's get back to business, shall we? Hello there. You seen Voss anywhere around here? No? Oh, you're a big one. These guys actually take two blasts of flame to kill. 
Things are heating up. Boss? Hey, man, I just wanted to check in and see how you're doing. <clears throat> Ow. Why does everyone keep trying to give me back this knife? Seriously, man, just take it. It's caused me nothing but trouble. The game keeps asking me to use it, and your sister keeps going on about it. Here, I'll help you hold it. Oops. Segway, segway, segway. I help CIA man repair a plane so that he'll take me to another part of the island. And after taking his word that his wingsuit that he's lent me works, I jump out of a plane and fly south to the next portion of the game. Huh, that actually worked really well. Not gonna lie, kinda surprised. You know, considering it's from a Hollywood prop house. I play a little poker, then give Sam a secret signal that I'm his contact. You'd like me to continue playing, Carl? What the? Carl? What are you doing here? This isn't exactly what I had in mind when I told Mac to throw you somewhere deep and dark. Who do you work for? Um, Google? I think? That's who owns YouTube, right? How is he? I have been concerned about him, hearing nothing all these years. Uh, they're a mega corporation worth billions, so fine, I guess? Anyway, Sam tells me we need to go get a privateer outfit. But considering I keep burning everyone I meet alive, I'm gonna have to be a bit more discreet this time around. Welcome to the second brick wall of the run. Not because I'm only using fire weapons though, I just suck at stealth sections. I sneak my way through an entire camp, throwing a literal ton of rocks while trying to get random people out of my way. It takes over an hour, but eventually, eventually, I give this man back his knife and trade for his uniform. And yes, it's a required kill. The game took away all my weapons for this part, so I didn't have any other choice. After that, I meet the new big bad of the game, Hoyt, who seems to have a proclivity for fire just like me. Maybe we'll get along. Only one way to find out, though. We'll need a way to get close to Hoyt, earn his trust, become his best friend. And what better way than with stealth missions? God, this game just doesn't want me to have fun today. Thankfully, I've gotten pretty good at making it look like it's a normal thing when privateers spontaneously combust. Moving on, I help Sam defuse a few bombs around the island, which goes pretty well, until we come up against a helicopter. Turns out, all those times my flare gun magically made vehicles explode was a complete lie. I tried my best to burn it down, but it's just a tad too high up. Good thing we learned about the magic of fire arrows, eh? Well, that looks like it's working. Uh, yep, there we go. Ragdolls ahoy. I think we're good. Uh, you know, I really didn't have a game plan for what would happen after I shot it down. Oh, God! Anywho, one more mission before we can be best friends with Hoyt. Apparently, there's some privateers who have something I want. I don't quite remember what it is, but I just know I need it. Now, the game wants me to pick up an RPG and blow up the bridge to kill them all. And while that does sound like a good time, I'm curious to see if I can finish the mission with just fire. You know, for science. And while it did take a few restarts and multiple calculations, I eventually learned that I can, in fact, reach the bridge from all the way back here. There we are. Now we just let the fire do the work. And there you go. Bridge enemies killed with nothing but fire. Just goes to show, put your mind to it, you can do anything. Oh shit, okay, time to leave. But with Hoyt's trust and friendship now earned, somehow, we can infiltrate his compound and inner circle. What the? Invisible wall? Ooh, you be soft. Ooh. Hoyt and I have some good times together, blowing up boats and the like. But it just so happens that Hoyt also kidnapped my brother. Oh, I should have known this was too good to be true. Well, guess I better bring down Hoyt's entire operation then. Let's start with his communication center. There's just one problem. The bunker I have to work my way through has a new enemy type. Yep, the game is officially learned. Say hello to the pyro. He's copying my style in every way, except he had enough funds to get a fireproof suit. Not gonna lie, I'm a little jealous. I'm sure I don't have to explain the problem here. If I can't kill them, I can't stop getting damaged. And some of them are literally standing in such a way that I can't move past, causing full-on choke points in the bunker. Eventually, I decided to play Ring Around the Rosie with one of them, then use an explosive canister nearby to get the other one out of the way. Even with all of that, there were still more pyros in the bunker, and every time they set me on fire, the game would demand that I put myself out before doing any other actions. Which meant that even when I forced myself up the ladder to escape the bunker, the game would drop me back down into the frying pan when I reached the top. I made it up eventually, but still. Annoying. But after playing a little game of Defend the Bomb, I was finally able to escape and tell Hoyt how I really felt. Eh, I'm sure he'll understand the message. But just in case it wasn't clear, I also blew up several fuel depots. Because of reasons. Unfortunately, the last fuel depot was yet again another portion where the game forced me to use a turret gun. 
Screw you, game. I'll show you to force me to have fun. Okay, there. If Hoyt doesn't get the message this time, I'm completely out of ideas. Victory is ours! We did it! America, fuck ya! Yeah. See? Sam gets it. I also got a call from Hoyt asking me to come over for a poker night. Finally! Now we can discuss letting my brother go. But first, it's time for the Jason Brody stratagem. I'm all in. I'll call. Call. Oh, wow. Really? This is gonna be a short poker game if you guys keep that up. I've got... two pair. Guess that means I win. So, about my brother. Whoa, hey, come on, man. The hell? Sir, name your price. How about my brother for a knife? Uh, no, wait, I meant I give you the knife, not the other way around. I think I'll start with... the ring finger. Whoa, 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 whoa. Jason, now we'll never be married! I'm already married, you doofus! Just take the knife, man. Just take it! Oh, for... Why does this keep happening to me? Ah, well. Moving on. I burn down an entire airfield, collect my brother, whether Hoyt likes it or not, then clear the rest of the airfield so my brother and I can escape. Oh, man, really? Alright, hold up. Got a pirate to deal with. Let me just get his attention... And there we go. Problem solved. Time for one last forced fun segment. You know what? I'm okay with this. Yeah, we technically failed the challenge and Jason's puns are pretty awful, but at least he's having fun. Back to the jungle fraternity to collect my friends, and we can finish the run. Oh, for fuck's sake. Again with this stupid knife? Look, lady, I don't want it. Here, I'm even gonna toss it on the floor this time so no one gets hurt, okay? What is wrong with you? She tried to save me! She saved all of us! And you reject her love! Ah! Well, I tried. Clearly this island is just asking for a knife-only run, and maybe one day I'll consider it. But until then, I think it's time we got off the island and left this madness behind. If you made it this far, thanks for watching. It's a shame we couldn't officially complete the run with only fire, but we did our best. And that's really all that matters in the eyes of the Firebomb Academy. Well, I mean, success is great too, but we'll take what we can get. But in any case, that's all I've got. Take care of yourselves, be good to one another, and I'll see you all again soon.